Okay, we'll go ahead and um, get started back. We've got an actually a, a go-to meeting webinar that is scheduled for 11 o'clock. So we're going to be trying to work around that time frame. Uh, but we're going to move ahead to actually our 11 o'clock uh, agenda item, which would be uh, topics of employee communication and citizen engagement. <coughs> and this is uh, something we have requested some additional information on. Page has been compiling um, information reaching out to uh, possible vendors and so forth with uh, informational um, software, and et cetera, that uh, could be of use to you in um, your consideration. Uh, once we get into the budget, the page is going to go ahead and start talking about the entire process. Um, I know that, that some of you and certainly some of our citizens and, and staff um, every day is very frustrated with where we are right now with our current website. Just to paint that picture for you, our site is seven years old. Um, Twitter is seven years old. And I don't think that we can imagine Twitter not being around. Um, Facebook is nine years old. So our site is only two years newer than Facebook. Um, iPhones and the smartphone revolution in general is six years old. So our site is one year older than the smartphone. Um, two years ago, there were 17,000 um, smart tablets sold, or 17 million smart tablets sold. Right now, in 2014, they are projecting 100 million sales in smart tablets. Um, that's where things are moving. That's how citizens like to do business. Um, I think that we've talked about over the past um, <clears throat> day or so, convenience. It's important for us to make things easier for citizens. It's certainly important for us to make things easier for businesses. And when you talk about a small business in particular, and just the, what the chairman mentioned earlier, as far as someone having to leave their business, time is money, come down to a county office, find out when they get here that they only have part of what they need to do business with the county, have to go back, take time off again, get what they need, it becomes a never-ending process of frustration that can easily be solved with a website solution, and that's what we would like to present to you. <clears throat> um, where we are again with our current site is, imagine living in a house that has really outdated carpet and draperies and paint, your roof is leaking and your dishwasher doesn't work, and you can buy new furniture, but you can't paint the walls. Um, you can fix your roof, but you can't buy a new roof. Um, you know, you, you can't get there from here. And that's where we are with our site. It was built with a very old back-end system now. Again, it's seven years old. And it was not the latest and the greatest. It was not the newest technology when we bought it. It was what we could afford. Which there's nothing wrong with that, certainly. Um, but there are things with our formatting, with our changes, and some of the forms that you all have asked us about, of doing those things online. The ability to be able to apply or pay your occupational tax online. Um, there are a lot of local governments who have that flexibility. Our site is not built to be able to handle that. Um, there are things related to emergency services and mapping, just general citizen engagement, push notifications that are out there. Anything, any type of information that a citizen would like to receive from their local government, the capability is there, and we're going to show you that today. Um, however, it's not there with our current site. Um, finances are a concern. I'm super sensitive to the budget as I've seen some of the documents that have already been prepared that you all will begin to look at. I know that whenever we talk about spending money, certainly we would not be in the financial shape that we are today if it were not for Mr. Pritchard putting a hold on all of us. So I have been cautioned strongly through this process. Um, one of the good things about Civic Plus and why we really like them is everything that they show you, um, it's not like buying additional modules for increased flexibility. You know, sometimes whenever you look at a software solution, they'll start out with the, a $50,000 base price, for example, and then all the things that you like are five or $10,000 more. Um, all of the flexibility that they have is um, created through a user group process, and it's available to everyone who purchases the site. If you look at the information that we have put um, behind the tab in your book, um, first of all, there's a, a list there of what if I could. Um, what if I could make government work better? Help 
citizens help themselves. Build a website citizens will use. Increase citizen input. Be more transparent with citizens. Prepare for emergencies. Keep the site fresh without IT help. Um, be guaranteed citizens will use our site. I think that those are things that we would all like to be able to do. Help staff respond to citizens faster. Cut down on calls with online feedback. Reduce foot traffic with online bill pay. Go paperless with online forms. Prevent lines with online license and permit <clears throat> registration. If there are things that we can make available to citizens so that they can do that online, that gives staff more time to spend with the citizens who do have to come in instead of saying, you know, we only have this much time to spend with you on this project. Um, to hand off common inquiries with easy to find FAQs, reduce questions with prominent quick links, update content regularly without advanced computer skills. Um, the flexibility that this site has is something that if, for instance, we had some bad rain and the county engineer went out and looked at a road and said, I've got to close this road for repairs. For citizens who want to be engaged in that process, the county engineer could actually take his smartphone and put a notification out to the citizens, as well as the bus barn and the bus drivers in that area to let them know that now that road is going to be closed and they need to find an alternate route home from work or those buses are going to, be ha are going to have to be re rerouted. Currently, that takes him sending something in either to Public Works or to his staff or to my office. That's putting a press release, release together, sending out to the media, and then we're largely dependent on the media and the citizens' interaction with the media for them to get that information before they need it. Staff would like to be able to let that citizen know before they leave work that they need to take an alternate route instead of them getting to that detour sign and then being super frustrated and calling you all and saying, Hey, this road wasn't closed this morning. Mine was closed now. It would have been nice to know before I drove all this way. Now I've got a five-mile turnaround, which doesn't always seem like a big deal unless you're trying to get home and cook supper, or your kids have a ball game, their kids got left at the house, or you're running late for prayer meeting or something like that. So that convenience is important. Yes, sir. How do we? You're saying we can't notify people of that thing. We can, but not instantaneously. We can notify them, but you're looking at anywhere from a two to three to eight to 24 hour delay based on how often they check the website or online news or listen to radio. How would they be notified? You, know, you said, I mean, how would they be notified with a program like this? <clears throat> they really have a choice of how they'd like to be notified. The Civic Plus site has eight opportunities for that interaction. So what we would do again is the education process. Like send it to their smartphone, send it, send it to their email, send it to their text. They can get a phone call. Um, maps um, are available. One of the things that we're going to look at whenever we do the, the webinar here in a few minutes is code enforcement complaints or areas that need attention are always of great concern. Um, there's a process for code enforcement. Whenever we, a citizen could see, um, you know, maybe a neighbor has not mowed their grass. They could go in and submit that online. It would go to code enforcement. It could go to a supervisor of code enforcement. The county manager could see that that complaint has been made. And then he could follow it through the process um, like a work order system. Whenever the officer is sent out, they submit what they have put in. Um, this logs data in that, is this a repeat offender? Do these, does this citizen never cut their grass? Was this a one-time thing because they were out of town? Um, and we can broaden that map so that for planning purposes, we can see where those code enforcements are being made. We can track how long it's taking us to get restitution regarding those complaints. The amount of data is really unlimited and the access to that are things that staff looks at whenever we put our budgets together and submit that to you all as far as the resources go. Um, <clears throat> there are things now that we're having to take a lot of time to do in-house um, that could be done with the click of a mouse and the citizen would never have to leave their home. Um, or worry about being available 8 to 5 Monday through Friday, which is traditionally the hours that we're in. And they, we don't have any capability on our current uh, software we use website for, to set up something where they can pay like a utility payment online. A utility payment is the only option that we have um, right now. and. To be able to add additional things like to pay for a culvert um, or to we should be able to offer to citizens for them to be able to rent the county facility online that's a very simple fix with the right technology our current site not only would we have to pay for a portion of a rewrite to make that possible it's not available 
um, with the current format that this site is built under. It's sort of the difference between, you know, some buildings are built with a wood frame and some buildings are built with a metal frame. We're built with a wood frame, and if we put a metal frame, if we replace the, the wood trusses with metal trusses, we're gonna collapse all of that frame underneath because it's too heavy and it can't handle it. Um, there are things about the current site that we can't, um, we can't change as far as the look and feel. Part of the investment that you get into with technology is how often is it going to be updated and how do you keep it fresh? The solution that we found with Civic Plus allows us after four years with the current contract price that we have, um, that they have presented us, um, for them to do a total rewrite of our website so that we don't get dated. Um, we can take all the things that, that we have learned over that four year process and be able to update the site again because of their user group format. But if they have something that is an enhancement that they do for one group, they offer that to all of their clients at no additional charge. We also okay, have- Okay, time out, time out. Mr. Chairman, I'm sold. Yeah. <laughs> go to the next page, page. go to the next page. <laughs> I, you sold the car, let's, let's go to your next phase. Oh, well, <laughs> well, 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 the car to learn the car. Ms. Powell, with all respect though, other commissioners may want to hear more information about what she's got. Okay. I mean, and then, she's on a roll. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, as you answered my question, this is Paige's job, this is her responsibility, this is her baby. I mean, she's worked hard on this. Uh, it sounds since great. Since I started the discussion with her in order to see if we can move in this direction. So I don't know what kind of cost we're looking at. But we'll get there too. We, got, <laughs> we are. And, and I, can, I can answer your questions. Um, and I know that we actually, you know, I've got some time for us to talk about county government. Okay. Um, if they would just like to wait and see. Um, I can say that, you know, based I think that you all have brought up ideas related to citizen engagement and interaction, you know, over the last day and, and this morning. There's not been one thing, and I've been making notes over here, there's not been one thing that you all have brought up that you'd like to offer as a flexibility that this website cannot help you with. So, um, we, as I said, we tried to move our go-to meeting to 1030, but um, we're, we're going to have to wait on 11 o'clock. We're running a little over the schedule. Well, is that yeah. something? Not go to something else. Yeah, let's yeah. move ahead and. Uh, you want to talk about national county government? Yeah, county government. Did you have a question, Commissioner Well, I, yeah, the only question I did have, have have we vetted this with IT that we've got the capacity and the capability and all to, you know, to support the upgraded capabilities that this site will give us? Yes, sir, we have. And one of the, the valuable parts of this site, not only does it have an opportunity to create efficiencies in all of our departments as far as workload and workflow goes, um, but it is not something that is heavily dependent on IT. Okay. IT's initial um, involvement will be in the establishment and, and the layout and us hooking all those things together. Um, but then it is set up on the back end so that anyone that can type an email can update this site. And we have the ability to hand out those permissions and also take those permissions through an approval process so there's some accountability 